All right, during engine checks this morning, I discovered rusty water stain from our uh, moderately long uh, three and a half hour run yesterday. And I've tracked this down to leaking from right here, which is uh, up underneath our exhaust elbow. We've got a little bit of a rusty um, salt water, uh, raw water leak. And so uh, the job now is to remove this insulation and see what we've got here. It may be a leaking V-band clamp. This is a, an elbow that goes from the turbo to the exhaust elbow where our raw water gets injected. And so this is all new to me, but uh, let's take this off and see what we're dealing with. So with the insulation removed from this elbow, what we see is here we've got a V-band clamp from the turbo that looks nice and pristine. And we have this V-band clamp going into the exhaust elbow. And we may have a leaky clamp right here, or we may have an issue with the casting. So uh, I think the next step might be to remove this and see what we've got going on under here. Or maybe to clean this up and run it and see where we're actually leaking from. The actual clamp portion where these two faces meet or this casting itself. You can't really tell what's going on right there. Well, we got two more stops before uh, FedEx can get me the new exhaust elbow and so to seal up this leak of uh, salt water uh, into the engine room here now uh, we used a JB weld product water weld it's what I carry on board to fix things and so uh, hopefully that reduces at least the amount of mess that gets made back here and uh, we'll get this replaced at the next stop well good morning guys we got our parts to replace this leaking exhaust elbow and so this morning it's time to take the old one off. We're going to close the uh, raw water seacocks and then uh, start disassembling. Four um, hose clamps on the big bellows. Those are removed. Uh, next up, I think I'm gonna uh, remove this band clamp that holds this bracket on, and that's to support the weight. This is a very heavy uh, cast iron replacing with stainless steel elbow, and so this uh, kind of holds that up. So I think that's the next one to go.
now the only thing holding this are these two band clamps. And I think the plan will be remove the one off the turbo and then see if we can wrestle that out of there. I did some reading on why this failure mode happens. The, the failure is a, a crack, a stress crack or corrosion in the bottom of this elbow and it's only um, the starboard engine and that's because the orientation of this exhaust it has this extra elbow here to get you a full 180 degrees to exhaust. Uh, it's an underwater exhaust here. And so what happens is this doesn't drain completely of raw water. And so there's a little pool right down here because it doesn't have enough tilt to get out of here and down. And so it just builds up, evaporates, concentrates salt. And so over, you know, 22 years, um, it's weakened that um, metal and so then you get a fatigue crack um, uh, induced by corrosion uh, in this. So we'll replace it with stainless steel and uh, it ought to outlive me. box to, uh, so this doesn't, it's very heavy, so uh, use a box to kind of break the fall, and uh, now time to wrestle it out of the bilge. Okay, so we have the old uh, rubber bellows off, and so now we get our first look down in this elbow, and yep, lots of corrosion. Definitely time for a replace. Uh, lots of carbon. Uh, the turbo side looks to be in good condition. We just need to uh, kind of true that up, uh, make sure that it's nice and flat and no pitting. Um, but it is a part and uh, ready to start putting the new pieces together. Hey, many thanks to HDI Marine out of Vancouver, Washington. They do these stainless steel castings uh, of these original cast iron uh, exhaust elbows, and they shipped it within hours of my order. I called just to confirm that uh, I get two-day FedEx shipping, and it arrived on time, in great shape, with everything I needed to do the job, including this bronze uh, water elbow, uh, the extra uh, elbow for uh, stainless steel, band clamps, and even the exhaust, or the insulation for the exhaust so we don't get burned uh, on the hot part here. So uh, very happy with the results and the order, and uh, time to install this guy.
And there you go, another boat job done. No leaks, back on the water. Cheers.